Hey guys, today I'll be showing you cross-site scripting. I'll be showing you stored cross-site scripting and reflected cross-site scripting and a proof of concept. Um, so I installed damn vulnerable web application using uh, Docker. It's really easy. I'll put a few steps that are uh, required in the, in the description. All you have to do is download the Docker executable uh, and then you have to run a simple command. That's pretty much it. So um, now this is a guest book. If I enter my name in here, my name, and I enter a message, and I sign my guest book, I can see that my um, my message gets stored on the page. It gets stored on a database actually, and then it gets uh, pulled from that database and displayed on my page. Now, as you can see, I'm going to view my web page source here. Oops, sorry. That's something different. I'm going to view my source here. This is all HTML code. Now, what happens if I insert some HTML code in here? So for example, if I make an image tag, and I give it a source of X, and I sign my guestbook, I can see, if I open my source code, that there's an image in here now for some reason. Oh. I just refresh there, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll go over that later. Oh, I can see the mistake I made. So, as you can see, I entered image SRX equals X. That's not the correct syntax, of course. If I do enter the correct syntax, I can see an image here. Now, the image is broken because my source is incorrect. That's what I want. Now, if I take this tag, so I copy this tag, copy element, put it in here, and I put some JavaScript in here. That's what the scripting stands for. So if, for example, I put a JavaScript event in here, and I put up an alert, and I sign my guestbook. Oh, of course, I have to enter a name, sign the guestbook. You can see that I get an alert. Now, uh, this is because when I examine my message, I can see that it just gets reflected back into the page. So it gets stored into the database and reflected back into my page. Now, this is what stored cross-site scripting means. It gets stored somewhere and it gets recovered somewhere. Now, what I usually do, I don't want you guys to do what I just did. So as you can see, I just did image at source equals x and then on error equals alert. Alert is one of the most filtered um, messages that are out there. There are a lot of filters that will work on blacklisted words. So for example, uh, if I put a tag in here, script alert slash script. What will happen on this website, because I set my security level to low, I'm going to copy this real quick and I will sign my guestbook. As you can see, there is there is an actual pop-up. This is because my security level is set to low and there are no filters applied. Usually there is a web application filter, there is all sorts of filters. So the, the very least I want you to do is replace this alert with confirm. Confirm is one of the least filtered words for 2019. This may change in 2020. Um, people often forget confirm. When I sign the guest book, you can see that I get three pop-ups now. This is a lot less filtered. I'm going to clear my guest book right now. Uh, and I'm going to show you reflected cross-site scripting. So I'll give my name here, hello test. As you can see, it required my test. Uh, my name, I entered test and it gets put into a get parameter. This parameter is reflected back into the web page. Now this means that if I put uh, the image source equals x in here and I submit that, you can see over here that I have a reflected cross-site scripting. It doesn't get stored anywhere in the database. Uh, it can be triggered by just using um, a get parameter and why is this so important, this reflected cross-site scripting? Because again, I can put 
I'm going to put this in here for example. This is just a space but it's URL encoded so that the browser can read it and understands what it's doing. And then I'm going to put on error. Oh sorry, this is not correct what I'm saying. This is the equal sign, the percent 3D. So the plus sign equals the space. This is the equals. And I'm just going to confirm here. And I get my confirm pop-up. So I hope you guys understand the difference between reflected cross-site scripting. Reflected means it gets from a, uh, it gets its value from a get parameter. Stored means it's stored somewhere in a database. Um, there are a lot of web filters out there I want to tell you guys about. Um, someday I will make another video explaining web application filters, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but for now I want to thank you for your attention and I'll see you next video. Bye!